Ready? Mainstream, muse mainstream and tribal museums are ideal venues to educate the public about climate change and the Anthropocene, inspiring youth visitors to craft the imaginative solutions needed for our future. My research examines how large museums are tackling these issues and how their knowledge can benefit smaller museums. The Anthropocene, meaning our current era defined by human behavior, is hallmarked by climate change. To quote Dan Cahan, the failure of widely accessible, compelling science to quiet persistent cultural controversy over the basic facts of climate change is the most spectacular science communication failure of our day. Since the 1950s, we have been immersed in consumer-oriented materialism as a marker of social status and prestige. So the problem is not that half the American public is too dim to understand climate change science, but that thinking about the human causation of climate change is too awful for the public to endure. Should museums play a role in reducing this deep cultural fear and advance public conversations about human-induced climate change? If so, how can they inspire and not depress their visitors? Some museums choose to accept oil or gas money. However, accepting it comes, with pack comes packaged with strings with the fear of losing it. Western science knowledge presented in user hostile graphs has proven alienating for the public, especially presented without relevancy, a problem compounded because the media have frequently used science as a topic for argumentation rather than enlightenment, leading to challenges in clarifying climate change for the public. Indigenous communities have, through the trial and error of millennia, developed functional and philosophical approaches to living successfully in their particular environments. These adaptive strategies serve to educate museums, seeking methods of engaging the public in rethinking their actions on the planet. Most indigenous cultures share sophisticated knowledge and moral lessons through parables and symbolism communicated through stories. Enduring indigenous ideas such as we are all related, seventh generation, and the honorable harvest are concepts that have functioned for millennia, ensuring survival through changing times. Advertisers have long understood the power of storytelling, building stories equating materialism with happiness. Museums are uniquely placed as cultural community anchors to use storytelling with their visitors to, con to connect materialism with its consequences, anthropogenic climate change, and offer alternative perspectives. Pre-World War II America prided itself on a cultural identity framed in helping one's neighbor, family values, and thriftiness, comparable to indigenous values. In contemporary America, radical consumerism has transmogrified our deep culture in a shockingly brief period of time. Museums can serve to bridge these worldviews. Indigenous methodologists teach us that storytelling and relationship building are key methods of conveying cultural knowledge. It is time for museums to shift from old style cabinets of curiosity to contemporary inclusive institutions drawing on their full community for inspiration and fresh ways of looking at the world. Cutting edge technology can fascinate and inform the public about environmental processes. The New York Hall of Science developed Connected Worlds, an interactive exhibit about habitats presented in 30 minute play sessions, which held participants wrapped to the very end. We have allowed our consumer economy to outstrip our basic common sense. Nature is levying the price as we fill the oceans with plastic and the air and water with chemicals. Our viable solution is to back out of this extreme dead end and reconnect with seasoned values. Partnering with local tribes can help museums find meaning with their public. California Academy of Sciences Executive Director Jonathan Foley recently announced that the Academy is implementing a full divestment from fossil fuels. This freedom from petroleum funding endows the liberty to research and report widely and at will on climate change and anthropogenic impacts on the biosphere. The Smithsonian's National Museum of the American Indians annual Living Earth Festival presents to thousands of visitors indigenous perspectives regarding our changing environment and ways of responding positively to these challenges. They adeptly address social and environmental just injustice without alienating their visitors and donors. The Smithsonian Institution has also created the Living in the Anthropocene Initiative, supporting their grand challenge of understanding and sustaining a biodiverse planet through conferences, exhibits, research, and academics. 
the Smithsonian has an institution-wide commitment to pursuing sustainability internally and with the public. The Smithsonian Gardens showcase ways people can use their home gardens to provide great habitat. These initiatives illustrate how our nation's museum is conserving the public's resources in a lesson to take home. Anthropology can help museums in identifying the human behaviors that help or hinder carrying out these initiatives. One might assume that since indigenous peoples are more impacted by climate change, tribal museums would display a strong emphasis in exploring these issues. However, cultural sustainability often trumps environmental sustainability as an even more urgent, uh, as an even more urgent issue, leading to an interesting dichotomy between academia and the museum community. <clears throat> The very lively academic discussion of traditional ecological knowledge, native science, and how it relates and interrelates with Western science has been a topic of great interest and focus. Tribal colleges, such as Salish Kootenai College, have been key bridges. However, it is not a phenomenon that trans broadly, translates broadly into the museum field. The Indigenous Education Institute and partners, funded by the National Science Foundation, created two groundbreaking research projects, the Cosmic Serpent and Native Universe, exploring the cultural disconnect between Native and Western scientists and educators and working on bridging Native science into mainstream museums. Coming to Bozeman in 2017, the exemplary exhibit, Roots of Wisdom, was created through Native Universe by the Oregon Museum of Science and Industry in collaboration with tribal partners. It provides us with a model for working collaboratively with our tribes in Montana to create, to create our own story for the inclusive, proactive environmentalism in the last best place. Thank you.